Today is a very important day for IMAP because for the first time the University of Bologna, Cremona, Auvergne and Dortmund award the student of the first intake of the International Master on Advanced Particle Physics. I just finished discussing my thesis about uh, the study of charge asymmetries in charm decays in the early data of uh, the third run of the LHC with uh, the LHCB experiment. My thesis was uh, made in the optics of the new measurements performed by the LHCB collaboration. It was uh, carried out uh, in, at the physics department of uh, Dortmund University and um, it was a great experience for me doing this in internship and IMAP as a, overall was one of the most beautiful experiences in my life. Hello, my name is Elena and I spent my last semester of the IMAP programme in Vancouver, Canada, working at Triumph, Canada First Acceleration Centre and with the University of British Columbia on my master thesis and internship in vector-like leptons uh, that we investigated with the Atlas detector at CERN. beautiful experience and I'm very lucky I was able to travel so far while at the same time studying uh, something I love and I was able to meet a lot of people spread the message about the IMAP program to people from across the ocean. During my fourth semester of IMAP, I have been in Dortmund working with the LHCB group there on an analysis on the lambda C2 proton muon muon rare decay, which is a decay which has not been exploited right now, and so it might shed a light on very interesting results on new physics. The thesis is related to this uh, uh, lambda C2 proton muon muon rare uh, decay to measure the CP violation and the angular asymmetries of the decay itself. and uh, I did uh, my master thesis at uh, the ERFM, which is the Institute of Research for uh, Fusion achieved through magnetic confinement. And it is uh, in France, in the south of the France, in the location of Cadarache. is a um, simulation of highly radiative scenarios of the JT6SA tokamak and uh, it is uh, about uh, uh, nuclear fusion. My master thesis, I studied in Dortmund and I studied uh, the efficiencies of some tagging algorithms where we use di boson events in order to find uh, W and Z boosted vector bosons. Yeah, 
and we use tables and events in order to do so. And we use also 13 TV proton proton collisions taken at Atlas during 2015 to 2018. I have done my internship for the master thesis in Belgium, in Leuven, in a research center for semiconductor manufacturing called IMEC. My thesis, therefore, is in a different topic than particle physics, a more industrial topic. Uh, using basically I've used machine learning to problems uh, issues in the semiconductor manufacturing uh, process and I really enjoyed it I I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to do something that I really wanted to do despite the topic of my master thesis which is something that I'm up uh, allows us to do I definitely suggest this, uh, this master as uh, something to have in your curriculum. But also it uh, allows you to work during the fourth uh, semester with uh, very big groups and big collaborations that also improves uh, you as uh, a researcher. And that's why I would recommend it to all physics students. I hope a lot of students will see how good it is to be able to travel across the world while studying physics and just enjoying life and meeting new people. Even if uh, you have uh, some uh, interests that are not uh, uh, very into the field of uh, particles, IMAP opens the way to a lot uh, of uh, different experiences. That was uh, the best choice of my life by far and uh, go for it. Dortmund University, die Universität Clermont Auvergne, die Alma Mater Studiorum Universita di Bologna. Hierbei declare that Luca Balsani, Elena Cupini, Marco Colonna, Ludovica De Gianni, Simone Roschelli and Sarah Sacchi receive the joint degree Master of Science Advanced Methods in Particle Physics, which is valid as a Master of Science in Physics in Germany, a Master of Fundamental Physics and Applications in France and a Laura Magistrale in Advanced Methods in Particle Physics in Italy and they also receive the honors and privileges that come with it. And now in Latin, ipsa scientia potentia est per aspera ad astra. And in that sense, congratulations to the six of you.